All right, so that moment we brought to you yesterday. Mm -hmm. Today, we'd like to bring in those students who yelled that out to Kamala Harris. They're two pro-life students university, at the University of Wisconsin La Crosse, both juniors. Uh, Luke Pulaski and Grant Beth join us now. Luke, Grant, thanks for being with us this morning. Um, Luke, I'll start with you. Just take us into that moment. What, what happened yesterday? We see the video clip. Is there anything more you can tell us about what you guys had to say and what happened afterwards from that video? Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's great to be here. Um, I would say the first thing uh, I want to bring up, this is our first time taking an interview with anybody, and I think it's important because this is our raw, like, untold story. There's a lot, happened that, a lot that happened off camera uh, that we said at the protest and or well while we were protesting and i guess we could start off with when she after she talked about overturning roe v wade and donald trump i yelled out to the crowd that abortion is the sacrament of satan and when i said that i deeply do believe that as a christian and about 10 seconds go by and that's when the video of uh, my friend grant and i uh proclaiming that christ is lord and jesus is king uh w when we said that and I think it's important to say this is a small venue and we were about 20 to 30 yards away from Kamala at this point. There's a lot of controversy that says she wasn't talking to us or we left, we didn't get kicked out. Well, I can speak on Grant and I's behalf um, on video. Grant's getting pushed and shoved. And um, there's about five seconds after or, or before she tells us to go. Ain't it crazy how like, I'm gonna say that not the tides have turned, but as you can see, if you don't agree with the left side of the, uh, of the aisle, they on your head top, bro. They canceling shit. They kicking you out of shit. So it's very unique to see how they all for the people. But when you don't agree with them, then you, <laughs> you cast it away. So it's, that's very, very unique. Go to the smaller rally down the street. You can see on the video she waves. She waves. She was actually waving to me. I uh, took this cross off my neck that I wear. And as we were getting asked to leave, um, I held it up in the air and waved at her and pointed to her. And she looked directly in the eye, kind of gave me an evil smirk. And um, yeah, I just want to clear that up and confirm that she 100% was talking to us. Mm -hmm. And there's other controversy that says we left. Um, we were getting shouted at, pushed, assaulted, um, screamed at. So we were walking away, but there was about three... Um, attendees there, volunteers that kicked us out with press with badges or whatever they had. And I specifically remember this one man saying, you were uninvited and unwelcome to this event. You need to leave. And all but how does that make sense if we, in a free country full of freedom of speech? If they ask her right now, she's going to be like, yeah, freedom of speech, but not on my time. <laughs> like, not at my protest, not at my rallies and shit like that. That's very unique, bro. Because it's not like they did something egregious or hurt someone or some shit like that. They literally spoke their mind, and speaking their mind got them kicked out of a venue. So what does that say to the like? That means y'all better get on board, or <laughs> or else. That shit is crazy. All they did was walk us out the door. They didn't tell us why. No cops escorted us out. Uh, no Secret Service, and uh, yeah, that's our story. So, so wh where was this event held exactly? Uh, this was held in our University of Lacrosse's gym. So, so did you uh, did you pay tuition only... to go to the university? Uh, I do I do pay tuition to go to the school, yeah. but this was a free event. Um, this is in a really small venue. They only said there was about twenty five hundred people there, which when she told us to go to a smaller rally down the street, I didn't really think that for a political rally there could be smaller than twenty five hundred people. But, but you you were allowed to be there. You you paid to be there. Yes, basically. correct, yeah. correct. Grant, I want to get your point of view from there. So. <laughs> Is, is there anything you want to add to Luke's story? And and what did it feel like? I mean, she basically said, you said, you said, or Grant said something about, uh, or Luke said something about Jesus, right? Jesus is king. Jesus is Lord. And she said, you're not welcome here. I mean, I want to know what you felt in that moment and if there's anything you want to add to his story. First of all, thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Charlie, for having us. Um, you know, we're very blessed to be here. Um, we're very blessed to speak on the national stage. Um, it's important that we get our message out um, in any way possible. Um, first of all, we didn't really intend on, you know, going at any people. Um, people online were calling us mega fascist. Um, that was never our intention um, going to this rally. 
Um, we were only here to protest our faith, and um, we did so. Um, we never expected this to grow as large as it was. Um, essentially, she was speaking. You see that old lady pushing him? Yo, like, old lady, you gotta stop. You meet the wrong one, you know what I'm saying? You gotta stop, miss. Y'all got old ladies pushing people out here, like, watch your hands, miss. For I chop them shits. Hi -ya, I karate chop them shits off. I'm, I promise you, even if I was protesting, non-protesting, you can't touch me. The only people that could probably touch me is security, you know what I'm saying? Too? But any random person touch me, you getting it. I'm not going to lie to you, you getting it. I'm like, uh, you getting it. Don't touch me. Don't push me like I'm dirt. What the? That's crazy. That's crazy how y'all treat people. And these seem like two respectable young men who didn't go in there on some MAGA shit. They could have wore their hats and they, and they drip <laughs> and really turned it up. But they didn't. They just was, pro like, basically saying their faith. Like, we don't believe in that shit. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how. How are you against pro-life? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> it's literally pro-life. Like, I, listen, if you're against pro-life, then you got to ask yourself a lot of the, You got to get right with God. <laughs> like, you got to get right with God. I ain't going to lie to you. That is some demonic shit right there. Like, you know, anything with pro-life, I'm not rocking with. I could never say no shit like that. That don't, that don't even sound logically correct. <clears throat> but the fact that they did have an opinion and people decided to push them and touch them and kick them out. And I think that shit is very unfair. And that shit ain't what America is supposed to be about on either side of any aisles that you on. It's supposed to be about freedom of speech. Being able to say something, people disagree with you, but they don't hate you. You know what I'm saying? This seems like. This low-key hatred right here, bro. Like, anybody that's not with us, you're basically against us. But I'm trying to be the president for all y'all. That don't make sense. Is it just me? I mean, just and me. we decided to say Christ is King, Jesus is Lord. Um, and we got a lot of backlash. Um, as you can see in that firsthand video, um, I was pushed uh, by an elderly woman. Um, we were heckled at. Should have chopped her hand. Chop. You ain't got to put hands on me. You could damn sure chop her shit. You know what I'm saying? Chop her. Chop her down type shit. You know what I'm saying? You should be able to defend yourself. I don't know where America got this rule where men can't defend themselves. I'm defending myself. And I have no, like, I have no nervous feelings about it. I, I'm not scared of no jails, no prisons, no systems. You don't get to touch me, bruh. I don't know who told you people that. I don't know who, especially the women. I don't know who told the women, yo, men are not allowed to defend themselves. Well, y'all got the wrong one. I'm not about to let people put their hands on me. And the people making these rules don't want people to put their hands on them. So that's that's insane, bro. Like, don't put your hands on me, bro. Now, you can say what you want. I don't care what you say. That shit doesn't bother me. But as soon as you touch me, I, I like, there's serious problems. I might, I might look for her husband and beat him up, like, on some G shit. Like, where your old ass husband at so I could give him some smoke? Because he, he y'all seem like y'all could just touch and do whatever y'all want, and that's not the case. We were cursed at. Um, we were mocked. Um, and that's the biggest thing for me personally. Um, in reflection of the event, um, Jesus was mocked. Uh, you know, <laughs> his disciples were mocked. Um, and that's okay. In reality, we did God's work, and we were there for the right reasons, um, and God is watching us in this moment. Um, you know. Oh, come on, man. We respect your shit, but come on, man. Give us the details and the juicy shit. Respect that you did that, but like, if y'all wasn't voting for her, that's going to be the biggest, like, you know what I'm saying? If you wasn't going for her, that's what's going to be the biggest shit. It's like, why were they even there? Even if you did God's work... Uh, what happened, like, was this security? I want to know, did security boot you out, or was it all these old people? I'm all about being a cordial person, no matter your beliefs. Um, but I do believe that um, we were sent there by God. And I do believe this timing, you know, 18 days before the election, is imperative for young Americans and first-time voters like myself to understand that <laughs> This is what you are going to get with a Kamala Harris presidency. You are going to get the Kamala Harris that alienates over 50% of the U.S. population that is Christian. You're going to get the Kamala Harris um, that skips the Al Smith uh, Memorial Dinner, um, that no um, major presidential candidate has skipped 
since I believe Walter Mondale in 1984. Um, over, you know, now over 40 years ago, um, I'm a 20 year old man. Um, that's double my life. So um, that's a long time for someone not to attend that event. Um, that along with our experience on this day, um, mm -hmm. it's a good storm for um, the opposition. And it just proves what type of person Kamala is and what type of leader she will be. Um, I'd love to ask you this question out of my own curiosity. Luke, I'll put it to you. Um, and I know it's a difficult question because I'm asking Yo, you. Yo, your... did this guy do sports? Is that Will Kane? They got this. Yo, they got boy everywhere, bro. He on politics. He on sports. Like, I just realized, yo, wasn't he doing sports on ESPN? Yeah, it was him. Okay. So that makes sense. Self in the mind or experience of someone else, meaning that person could be Kamala Harris. But when she responded that way to you, uh, you and Grant, I'm curious what she understood about you. Like, what had you made clear? That you were a protester, um, that, that you were pro-life. We all hear you say, Christ is King, Jesus is Lord. Did she understand your message? I wanna know specifically what she is rejecting. I know you can't know, cause you weren't in her mind, but you can know, what did you make clear? Yeah, so, um... I said Jesus is Lord due to the abortion uh, Roe v. Wade she was talking about, which me and many Christians around the world disagree with, with her stance on abortion. And we wanted to kind of send in a message that, you know, as Christians, at least me and Grant. It don't got to be just Christians. That's why that, the religion shit always loses me because it's like a gang. Like Christians, no, I, I, regular people believe the same shit as y'all. You feel me? That are not religious in no degree. I, I just think that shit is egregious that she's like, like, do y'all really want to delete babies? Like, at a, a alarming rate, y'all already have done so much damage. I don't know if that, like, I don't know, bro. And I feel like history will remind us a hundred years from now, 50 years from now, like that shit was the wrong move, bro. <laughs> that shit was the absolute wrong move. Now, what that does is it gives people so much leeway to mess up and do whatever they want in life and not have to face the repercussions. Like, like yeah, you shouldn't just be out here having babies. You feel me? So then that shit would stop everyone from just having random ass children at random ass times. Like, maybe it's just me. Like, I, it's not obviously just me, but it, it, it seems to be very weird on that side, bro. And growing up, you know, I grew up, obviously, that's all they pushed is like democratic shit on the kids and shit like that. So it's kind of crazy when I was able to get my own mind, you know, become an adult and shit like that, that people really don't like the way we preach is not what we practice at all. Like we preach life, but we don't practice life. And that and that's very odd. Like she shouldn't be up, the, up there saying kill more babies like that shit should never be a thing. But. I think 50 years from now, 100 years from now, everyone who supported that shit will regret that, like, tremendously. You, I, I, I like, I regret even being on that side after I found, like, because, you know, when you're a kid, you don't really care about that type of shit. After you develop, you start to be like, what? What are they talking about? Like, I, lo I love life, and I think everyone is deserving of a life. You know what I'm saying to you? Period, point blank. We are not the judges and jury of this shit. Clearly, we're not. So it's like, and then we have incompetent people People with low education, dumbass people getting to make life decisions like that. like, And the people you bring into the world affect other people. Y'all could be bringing in murderers and shit. So it just, it, it baffles, it baffles my mind that, I, I, I just want to say a government or a state should have all autonomy over someone's body, but they do have a responsibility, we all do, to, to have a population that's thriving and more people being born. Not less, not reverse. Like that shit is, that's some sad shit. It, it just, it, it, it really, it make me angry. It's, uh, we don't accept or agree with her abortion uh, policies and that um, we believe that Jesus is Lord and that he has the final say in everything we do. And it's something we center our life around. So I guess we wanted her to know that. <laughs> Right. Luke, Grant, I think you guys are two really brave boys. They, they don't call it the People's Republic of Madison for nothing. Um, yeah. You guys went right yeah. into the lion's den, and you 
are brave and courteous, as I can see right here. And I just really... Yeah, one thing I noticed like, about these boys, they got a lot of respect. Like, it doesn't seem like they're disrespectful humans at all. So, that, it's crazy how they treat... Because I know how they would treat me. You know what I'm saying? Too. I won't say for the most part, because I believe the way I believe, people would look at... People don't like me regardless of, of those facts. <laughs> so... You know, I don't really care how people look at me. Like, I posted a couple of videos and a lot of people started unsubscribing. I don't, I don't care. What, like, what, bro? Like, I've tried, I, I've tried as I've got older to, you know, try to understand people. But my whole life has been basically blunt, true honesty. And that's where I'm going to die at. I'm going to die on this, this truth and this honesty. And I, I believe like this shit is, this shit is wrong, bro. This shit is wrong. Like, it's just wrong, bro. It's just wrong. Because I don't recall the other side kicking people out because they disagree, bro. Or canceling shit because they... Like, that's unique. Stop people's money, stop people's livelihood, or try to embarrass them because they don't agree with you. Not because they doing egregious shit, throwing shit at you, none of that. Just, I do, they don't agree with me, so there's the problem. Like, no... What? How can America be a free place? How can y'all make it so good if we can't... We can't agree to disagree. We have to basically agree with y'all or we're wrong. And I don't really go with the whole, yo, if you go Trump or you go this place, you're an idiot. Like, come on, man. What are we talking about right now? We need to start doing an IQ test around here. Real talk. We need to start doing this IQ test. Because people just be talking this shit, but they be really stupid. Logically, you know why you going with who you going with from a logic standpoint. If you don't, then you got to look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself why you even why you even participating in this type of shit. If you don't know what the, is going on. Uh, shout out to them two young young men for, you know, standing on the business. Because a lot of people don't stand on the business. They out here PC, they end up getting kicked out and them niggas change religion and shit. So, I appreciate them. And then they, 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 they do... Pause. I couldn't even get that shit out. But they do come off very respectful. So, shout out to them, bro. Um, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe if you want more videos. Uh, all the unsubscribers keep unsubscribing. I don't like your ass that much. So... Keep unsubscribe. You're gonna help my channel grow. <laughs> the more, the less of y'all that is on the channel, the less could be sent to YouTube for y'all not to like the video. You know what I'm saying? So keep unsubscribing and we're gonna keep on thriving. No cap.